hey guys what is up it is no help and welcome back to another video today so just the other day i realized that i've been playing this game for 15 years and there's still so much to do this is unlike any other game that i've ever played before where usually when i play a game typically within the first month i end up getting very bored right and something like a game like runescape you don't get bored really ever there's just so much content to do whenever i played another game in the past i'll just bring minecraft up as an example where everyone knows that game right you get super hardcore into the game for about a month and say you're playing on servers or say you're playing a solo world or a hardcore world right you delve really deep into it uh, for about a month and then you kind of like run out of stuff to do. RuneScape has had weekly updates for the past what 20 years where every single week there is a brand new update even if it's just something very simple. Um, it's something new that is added to the game that will make it different than the way you played it before and it could be something very simple like just some bug fixes or a huge update like a quest or a brand new area to explore. Ever since I was a little kid, I liked games that kind of felt like they meant something. So I would always be that kid that really liked like Farmville, for example, that Facebook game where basically you would plant the crops, you'd grow them and you would, you know, you'd level up and you it would like the work you were doing in the game seemed like it means something, even though it really didn't. Yeah, it, it seemed like it means something over time and you kind of level up and progress, right? So I always really liked games like that, maybe the MMO style of gaming. Now why is RuneScape the game that I have decided to play for the past 15 years and can't stop? I think the whole simplicity of the game and the level design is really what got me is because back in 2009, you could pretty much launch this from any computer and play it in the web browser. So I could, you know, log into it at school on the very same account, go to my dad's house, log into my very same account, my, my regular house, the same account, my friend's house, the same account, and pick um, back from where exactly where I left off and continue the progression. I also started the game right when the YouTube scene started to really pop off and I saw a lot of these other people playing, streaming, and making videos about the game that I really liked and it was kind of like an inspiration to kind of keep going and move forward. I saw what they had and I wanted to kind of achieve it myself so it was kind of like a goal that I set for myself to become like these other people that I saw that were so successful at the game. Also, being a young kid, I really didn't have too much like responsibilities in my life at the time, right? And I really would consider this to be up until about my 20s, right? So when I first started the game, I was nine years old, had zero responsibilities. So I could just play the game pretty much whenever I wanted until my parents told me to get off the computer or whatever, right? And then when I became a teenager, I got my own computer and whatever it was, I would just play the game all day, every day and, you would, and would even, you know, miss sleep or miss miss school assignments or whatever to play the game which is kind of cringe to really think about it now right but that led up into my college years right and then eventually when the pandemic hit I would be playing the uh, my college ended up being online and I could play RuneScape while being in class right so it kind of stuck into my adult years a little bit but whoa, that's skipping a lot right now. So basically, I played the game a lot in middle school and high school, right? And then eventually the evolution of combat came out and kind of killed the game that we really loved. Now, like I said, they've been making weekly updates for the past forever for this game, right? So one of these weekly updates was the evolution of combat and it changed the entire combat system of the game. And a lot of my friends, a lot of the actual RuneScape community left at this time and it was kind of a sad time because I wasn't done with the game. I was a skiller, not a killer, so I didn't really touch combat too much back then. So I decided to give it a little bit of a chance for a while. But over the past or over the next year, I saw the players declining and declining and declining. And eventually I was about to give up the game myself just because it felt like I was playing a single player game. It's funny how this story ends. I always still played RuneScape 3, but less and less and less. And then eventually they made old school RuneScape. And that's when a ton of people came back to the game. All my friends rejoined, all the people from YouTube and the community rejoined, and we all played this old school version of the game where we liked the graphics, we liked the combat style, we liked 
the progression, the slowness of the game. With RuneScape 3, they were pushing um, microtransactions and making the game a lot easier. You could kind of buy your experience, buy your skills. But with old school RuneScape, it was a fresh start back from the 2007 where everything was hard and you had to actually earn everything yourself. It's kind of crazy to think that Old School RuneScape came out in 2013, so it's been 11 years of Old School RuneScape being the primary game for people to play RuneScape. Where a lot of like my nostalgic memories as a kid and stuff were from the pre-evolution of combat and even the evolution of combat like before Old School, right? That's where the main memories come out to me, but the majority of the time I've been playing the game has been on Old School RuneScape. I played old school RuneScape for a little while but eventually just got bored once again and it was kind of just like the same thing. It felt like I've already done this before. I've maxed a RuneScape 3 account, almost two of them by the way, and I was just starting this brand new journey again from scratch with nothing and it kind of just felt like I was replaying the exact same game again but this game isn't a game that takes 200 hours, it's a game that takes 6,000 hours to complete. And then they made the Iron Man game mode, which it's kind of a weird thing because the reason I quit RuneScape 3 or just stopped playing it was because it felt like a single player game. But they released this idea that you could play RuneScape as a solo player. Now you could, it was still an MMO, you still could interact with other people, do some content with other people, but the trading element of the game, um, the whole MMO really aspect of the game was out of the picture. You were a solo player in this massive world with a lot of other people. So you had this badge beside your name that showed that you were an Iron Man character and you did everything yourself. If you wanted a piece of food to take to combat, you need to either fish the food or kill a monster to get it, have the cooking level in order to cook it successfully, and then you can finally take that into combat. And that is the same with every aspect of the game. If you wanted armor, you had to get the smithing level to craft it and make it yourself or get it as a boss drop now this game sounds insanely challenging and hard and that's because it is it is really hard because you really have to think out of the box and do everything yourself from scratch and there's so many things that i've learned about playing the iron man game mode and i've learned so much about runescape from doing so it is pretty freaking insane a game that i've already played a decade now um i didn't know a lot about like a lot of the simple stuff i really didn't know about how to make this little basic potion i would just always buy that from the grand exchange or already be high enough level to not need to buy that or you know what i mean there were just so many little basic things that i didn't know or didn't understand about the game so like i said i was a skiller not a killer in the pre-eoc time so like i never saw the point of combat or pvm we didn't really have too many good bosses or slayer tasks and let alone raids, right? So like I always just saw combat as more of a chore, but that was until Iron Man mode came out, right? Where I saw all these little combat um, tasks that you would get that I would never ever think about killing in the main game because they might be bad experience, bad money per hour, right? But as an Iron Man, you don't see items as GP or value. You see the item for what the item is. So it could be, say, a secondary ingredient that you need to make a potion in herb lore. Or it could be, say, a random adamant bar that gets dropped by this creature. And usually you wouldn't care to pick it up. But now it has value. So basically what I'm saying is Iron Man really changed the game for me, kind of made it feel like it was a brand new game to play, made it feel like it was worth doing every single little task in the game and made me learn a lot more about the game and appreciate parts of the game that I never did before, like things like quests or achievements or mini games, things that I really never touched before. It made me kind of like really appreciate and realize why they're actually in the game in the first place. But the whole point of this video is there is so much to do on RuneScape and there's not enough time to do so. And this is proven by me playing the game for 15 years and i would say i play more than the average player definitely for sure i've always made made a little bit more time in my life to squeeze into a runescape with all my accounts i've got over four years of play time and i'm 24 years old so really let that sink in 
Now, this obviously wasn't all like active time. I played a lot while I was in college, while I was in school. I pretty much always found a way to AFK something while I was doing something else in real life, if you know what I mean. But I kind of found like a more of a healthy relationship with the game now. So for most of my life, um, from I guess like middle school, high school, right? I would pretty much spend virtually all of my free time on RuneScape as much as I possibly could. This is probably pre pre EOC and a little bit of old school RuneScape. I would spend virtually all of my free time on the game. But as you know, you grow older, you get jobs, responsibilities, there's a lot of stuff you have to do in your life. And unfortunately, uh, that means less time for RuneScape. So while I was in college, right, I would, you know, be like AFKing, say Fletching or cooking or something like that while I was like typing up essays or even in class when the COVID times were happening, right? But, uh, you know, while I'm, I'm working a full-time job now, so that kind of means a lot less time for RuneScape. I'm working 44 hours a week right now, and uh, there's a lot of other responsibilities in my life. Like, I've got a girlfriend that I see on the weekend, so realistically, I only get about four to six hours, and really six hours is pushing it where I don't get enough sleep to actually play RuneScape um, from Monday to Friday, for example, right? So, and then sometimes on Fridays, I hang out with the boys, right? So, it's just one of those things where, say I get less than 20 hours, hours a week to play runescape now and even upload content to youtube so there is so much in this game for us to do but there is not enough time and i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to me on this that the older you get the less time you have to just sit in front of the computer and play runescape so there's all these goals that we want to do and there's even for me there's so much that i want to do on this game but i have myself set on specific goals that i want to do and i spend all my time on runescape doing those goals like right now i'm doing the chambers of Zarek for a twisted bow if that will ever happen i highly doubt it will happen we're at 200 kc now by the way but uh, i highly doubt that will ever happen but we just got to keep pushing it and maybe one day it will happen right but uh, it's one of those things right where a lot of these updates come out and i really want to delve deep into these updates and fully check them out but it's one of those things where it's just you don't have enough time in life to do it anymore and i really want you guys uh to comment down below and let me know down there how often do you actually play the game like how many hours a day do you set aside to play runescape or are you kind of like me where you're on like a schedule where maybe like you know the weekends i can't play the game at all i'm not even in the same town where my computer is and shit so like i'm out of town with a girlfriend and most of the week like i said working 44 hours a week now so even uploading videos on youtube has been a lot harder for me nowadays but i try and make it the best that i possibly can for you guys and uh yeah i try and play runescape as much as i can as well but yeah 15 years of runescape and there is still so much content to do what a great game thank you so much jagex for making this beautiful game where there is unlimited content for me to do and to the point where i don't even find other games interesting because there's just so much for me to do on this game and i never run out of content to do but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video i will catch you in the next one see ya later